Get out of my life. I can remove you too. I don't mind. Oh shit, boys! Shiver me timbers. He's gonna kick me out of his life. Oh, big chungus over here with big words. Fat ass. Anyways, welcome back to my boring ass YouTube channel. Hopefully, you're having a great day. I know I'm not. And uh, today, we're gonna talk about the world's strictest parents. Maybe some of you have strict parents. Me, I don't really know. <laughs> but um. I don't like strict parents. The thing is with strict parents is you can't really say anything or do anything. Or like you're you're just in a cage and it's so boring. Like you can't even say damn. Like damn and then they just put you in a punishment for no reason. And strict parents like they always do stuff bad things when they were young and then when we do bad things when we were young, they don't care, but they know they did the exact same thing when they were young. It's really stupid. Anyways, if you do enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. I will appreciate it. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this. Laughing inside because I knew they're never going to find where I hid my cigarettes. All right. Okay, makeup, heels, boots. She kept pulling out endless stuff. Oh, this is kind of cowboyish. How many days are you staying? I'm happy about your bags, but I'm not so naive that other things possibly couldn't be hidden somewhere else. So I'd like to ask you to basically step into my pond up to your waist. Bro, is that her father? Like, is that her dad? Bro, that, if I had a girlfriend and that was her dad, I'll pretty much goddamn leave. I would break up with her at the spot. I would not deal with that. And, like, really? I want you to step in my pond right there, Sonny. And, uh... Yeah, I just want you to step in my pond for a real quick second because uh, I think you're holding some kind of drugs or anything. Like, come on, bro. This is so... I would not do this. I would not do this. This is, like, so messed up in so many ways. Like, why would you do this to a kid? Okay, sure, he might have bad things or, like, do things that aren't allowed, but it's still taking it way over the top in my opinion but hey i'm a 14 year old guy who makes fun of fat kids i have no say do i i'll probably a little lower yeah a little lower that yeah uh, that'll probably do it i'm guessing they say life's about choices i'm guessing you made a great choice i'm pretty happy with myself that i picked the perfect hiding spot for my cigarettes bro you know you're an idiot for even going in the pond there's no anything happy about that your goddamn jeans are wet Okay, they're soggy, they're wet, they smell for a girl. I'm sorry, but I would not risk my clothing for dating, for being appropriately, or I, I don't know, dating a girl. I would not risk my clothes for that, okay? I would not at all. I mean, that's the real you, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. When Eddie told me that he was gonna go through my cell phone, I wanted to scream. I was so pissed. So here we go. Awesome. Thank you. So your parents don't check your phone? No. They don't. No, never. She she just made it worse on herself, bro. She's like, yeah, my my parents actually never check my phone. Uh I send inappropriate stuff online. Very cool. Very nice. But, uh, yeah, they never check my phone. You're just digging yourself a grave. I think that's what it is. Digging your hole for yourself. Digging a grave for yourself. Digging a di- It looks like both of you have no problem whatsoever dropping the F-bomb. Oh, come on. The F-bomb? Are you kidding me? Like, I don't like parents who are like, no cursing in my damn house. Like, come on, the F-bomb. Really? That's the worst thing? Fuck, dick, shit, bitch, ass, really? That That's why they're mad? Like, Jesus Christ. Oh, they get mad at Jesus Christ, too? Come on, they're just curse words. They say it, too. They said it, too, when they were young. Like, parents hide stuff when they were young. I think we all know what they hide. And then they get mad at us for hiding it. But they do the same thing when they were young. And then they might, you know, do inappropriate things, too, when they were young. We do that when we were young. But they get mad at us. I don't know. It's just, it's bullshit, you know? I, I really don't like it. I just really think, like, it's stupid. And, I don't know. Parents just need to know that their kids might do what they done when they were young. And I just think they need to get that. Sized up fairly well. If you break an expectation, there's going to be consequences. Jesse was still a mystery, and that concerned me. But if you're dishonest about it, and then we find out about it, the consequences are worse. 
After thinking for a minute, I was like, I'm pretty sure there's something in my bag that I didn't take out. All right. So realized, who are these people? Because they don't seem like the girl's parents, and they don't seem like the guy's parents. So whose parents are these? Like, I don't know. Like, are they just random people they found on the street? Like, neither of these people are their parents, clearly. I don't think they're relatives of them. So they're just random people checking in kids' bags. Oh, good one there. Good one there. I started thinking, what's in my bag? I don't even know what's in that damn thing. Golly, dog. When I pulled the fabric back in the suitcase, there was a pornographic DVD. Okay, all right. He, he had a little bit of an appropriate thing. We all know Mr. Bald-Headed Guy over here used to look at inappropriate things when he was young and if he didn't then he's probably the guy who got bullied at school but um basically um yeah he looked at bad things i guess but come on bro i mean why would you take it in your bag in the first place like why that makes no sense like and plus why are they checking his bag like who are these people i don't get it found some stuff from the trip Ricky brought back down boxes of condoms. Not so much appreciative of the fact that he expected that activity be t to be taking place. Oh, Ricky, well, there's one thing I can say. At least you're confident. You're a pretty confident guy. Just looking to see, you know, if there's anything written on the shirts. Box of condoms. I had hoped I wouldn't find anything. So that's going to be a no. Well, let's see. Peter Griffin found some condoms. Good job, Peter Griffin. Small ass face for a big ass head. And dirty girls finish first. Oh, she's just admitting she's a goddamn shagger. If you can't wear it to church, you can't wear it. Uh, uh, this kid's getting busy here. Okay, bro. Look, I get like maybe two condoms, maybe three, but you have like five goddamn packs. Like, come on, bro. Who is gonna shag you? Wait, like, you're going to church, okay? How many girls are you gonna shag with your Dylan O'Brien looking ass, okay, bro? Like, God, calm down with the condoms. Gee. Then you're a pretty confident guy. They think they can change me when there's no chance. These people are like clueless. Yeah, boys, look at me, drinking at a young age, because I'm cool. God, if you actually do this, you're a fucking idiot, okay? Like, god damn. Uh, if the new dad catches me drinking, he catches me drinking, it'll be interesting. And hopefully I'll be drunk, so I could care less. Okay, well, I, this is the end of the video. Um, I might get some Nifty Fifties, maybe eat a nice cheeseburger, maybe get a nice drink, because I haven't eaten the whole day so yeah make sure if you do like the video uh smash the like button with your balls can't deal with any of these strict parents because all of them are idiots and um yeah uh, please subscribe and make sure to follow my uh twitter and instagram down below and join my discord server i like i like uh storing kids down in the basement chat and uh yeah make just just like yeah make sure if you have a girlfriend she's hot all right guys see you in the next video i just want to talk to him i just want to talk to him i just want to talk to him i just want to shoot him just want to talk I pause to be sending back to the lobby, then I fuck on your bitch and drop her off in a heartbeat, then I come and give her one last kiss. Five years later, and you still think those your kids? Ugh. Oh, 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 oh,